Hello, hello. Hello. Hi. Hello, good evening, everybody. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello, guys. It's actually a pleasure to greet you this beautiful day. So, welcome you all to this. Hello, teacher. Hi. Hi, it's a pleasure. I'm glad to be with you guys this beautiful Hi. evening. So, how are you today? Doing great? Is everything okay today? Yeah. That's awesome. That's definitely awesome. important. So, guys, it's actually a great, a great pleasure to be here with you guys, uh, especially, um, you know, this challenging time we have nowadays because of the rains. And But we hope everything is going to be great, that we'll be, you know, capable to have a better time because, you know, this situation is, like, affecting us. But, you know... We're ready, just ready to learn English, also maximize our skills and try to do the best we have and also get the best we can. So I just want to like start today because it's the first time we are here in this level, pre-intermediate. So it's a great opportunity because we're going to be learning a lot. And especially because of all the best, we have different perspectives about what we would like to get about having a better English level and also but at the same time, very challenging, you know that, because, you know, staying here at this time from 9, 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. is like very awesome sacrifice. At the end, it's going to be very successful for all of you, because imagine, you know, some people could be doing some other things, but you decided to be here to make a difference. And what is the difference? To speak English and to be great bilinguals. So are you ready to start? Yes. Are you yes. ready? Yeah. That's cool. We are ready. That's awesome. Let's begin. Yeah, sorry. Okay, much better. So welcome you all. So I just want to know a little bit about yourself, guys, that we have a presentation first before we start. And uh, remember this class has been recorded. What is the main purpose that you can have a feedback about uh, what we study here in, in this class, uh, different contents, vocabulary, and things that are gonna be very valuable later. So you can check this class. Um, through a video, everything that we have been doing here in this process. Let's start. Uh, let me talk a little bit about myself. You know, my name is William, uh, teacher William Garcia. You can see here I have two English careers. Yeah, you can you can call me teacher William or David if you feel more comfortable. Teacher William, Mr. Garcia, you feel good. Um, I got two careers nowadays. Uh, Professor Adon, this is a training in English, so I, I have around... 16 years teaching English, uh, have many years with a lot of experience and I don't stop, I keep on learning a lot about the language because nowadays we have to face different challenges about what we have now. Um, working around 16 years, imagine teaching English and I'm still learning because as you know, English is very amazing. So we don't stop learning all, all the time. We just like learn and go on. And um, it's a great opportunity to be here. I started working with this um, Inglés Corporativo since 2020. So I'm still working and I feel really proud to be there. And there are some things that I just want to explain to you guys about this process, um, especially because all of us will be here. And for that reason, I will try to speak in Spanish in this case. So it's gonna be hard for you guys to speak in Spanish. <laughs> so we're gonna try, okay? Let's see what's going on with this. Uh, it says, yeah. Hay ciertas cosas que hay que tomar en cuenta para este curso. Hay tareas y evaluaciones que hay que tomar en cuenta. Y tenemos la primera, dice que es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma que posteriormente la, la iremos compartiendo y se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de cada clase para que no se vayan acumulando. De repente, eh, mira, yo no puedo hacerla ayer y tampoco puedo hacerla ahora. Entonces, es importante ir eh, paso a paso, ¿verdad? Que usted vaya siguiendo el proceso y no, le, no se vaya atrasando. Vaya haciéndolas después de cada clase. E incluso puede adelantar contenidos. Mira, estaba fácil y pues me, me gustó y quiero seguir. Entonces, puede continuar eh, las siguientes. Todas las tareas de los temas ya, ya cubiertos tienen que estar completos antes de cada viernes a la medianoche ya que ese registro es enviado a Instafor semanalmente. Es decir, de que al final del día viernes yo voy a estar compartiendo 
esta información con Instafor. Entonces es importante que usted pueda tomarlo en cuenta con mucha responsabilidad y, y esa es la ventaja de poder avanzar cuando se puede, porque así usted no se acumula de trabajo. Material de apoyo será compartido a criterio del profesor en formato digital. Bueno, la presentación que posteriormente les, eh, les voy a presentar, igual se las voy a compartir para que ustedes la puedan tener ahí y podamos eh, avanzar en este proceso. No sé si alguien tiene alguna pregunta, si no, pues pasamos a la siguiente. Creo que no. No hay preguntas. Bien, seguimos. No. No questions right away. Okay, cool. Oh, practice English. That's awesome. <laughs> That's it. Also, English is you say no, no. It's like American. Okay, go ahead with that. Vamos con no las tres. No questions. That's cool. No questions. Right. Bien. Vamos con las tres evaluaciones. Como sabemos, eh, comprende un mes este, este proceso preintermedio uno. Hay tareas y evaluaciones. En la primera, la primera semana vamos a trabajar la sección uno y dos. Es decir, de que vamos a tratar de avanzar de manera de que de que podamos completar ya sea la, ambas secciones la primera semana y están súper cortas. Usted entrará a la plataforma y dirá, ay, ay, no, está muy corto. Eh, la segunda semana trabajaremos la sección 3 y el famoso midterm, que es una evaluación para que usted, de los contenidos que ha estudiado, usted haga un refuerzo y haga un feedback de los temas que hemos visto. Entonces, esa semana 2 completamos la sección 3 y, y midterm. La semana 3 completaremos la sección 4 y la semana 4 compartiremos la sección 5 y el examen final. Eh, todo esto se encuentra en la plataforma y eh, para que ustedes vayan ya eh, entrando un poquito en la plataforma, para que vayan indagando, para que vayan viendo cómo va la plataforma, cómo... Yo sé que muchos de ustedes ya tienen eh, mucho conocimiento porque han estado en los niveles anteriores, entonces ya están familiarizados. Pero por cualquier situación, ustedes también pueden consultar al grupo, alguien escribe al grupo y eh, automáticamente les van a ayudar. Entonces, eso les va a servir eh, bastante. Eh, hay ciertas normas que también tenemos que seguir y que es importante destacar en esta reunión. Y una de ellas es parte de las normas de convivencia, es tener el botón de silencio cuando estamos en alguna, alguna explicación, cuando estamos en la práctica, de repente alguien no está practicando o pues dejó el micrófono encendido y se escucha mucha, mucho ruido, entonces tener el botón de silencio cuando es necesario. Igual, uh, eh, well, la lista de asistencia según un programa nombre completo que yo pueda observar acá eh, cuando accese por ejemplo tenemos a Joana tenemos a Jenny y tiene sus nombres completos, excelente como lo, como lo solicita Insafor que se puedan leer acá, ahí están sus nombres, muy bien, tener la cámara encendida es bastante prioritario que usted la tenga encendida, que podamos eh, ver que usted está activamente en la clase y que el tiempo es corto, ¿verdad? A diferencia de dos horas, una hora, pues es bastante práctica para ustedes estar acá conectados. Participación activa, es decir, quiero, quiero verlos a todos, a José, a José Daniel, Miguel, Verónica, hablando full inglés en esta clase y que yo digo, wow, otro nivel, definitivamente eso queremos ver. Queremos ver ahí experiencia y vengo a aprender de ustedes. Uso del chat también, úselo. Si alguna pregunta, alguna duda, you can like, chat here. So if you got any questions or doubt, you can do it. Raise your hand if you have a question or doubt, you can do it too. Levante las manos si tiene alguna duda. Siempre mantener el respeto, ¿verdad? Y ya estoy de acuerdo, ¿no? En un tema, pues igual compartámoslo y, y pues respetemos la opinión de todos. Es importante. So actually it's very important to, you know, to have this one. And especially in these English classes. Entonces, ¿cuáles son las políticas de asistencia? Asistencia al 80% de las clases. Avance y desarrollo de plataforma y aprendizaje. Tenemos estas dos cosas que son prioritarias para Instafor y para inglés corporativo. Hay que tomarlo mucho en cuenta. Eh, pues iniciamos las clases justamente este día. Ustedes saben por la situación climatológica y esperando que todos estén bien y que no tengan ninguna dificultad. Horarios establecidos como esta hora y la duración de clases 60 minutos. También trabajar ejercicios en plataforma de clases y para que ustedes puedan obtener su diploma. Entonces, todo esto es importante que usted lo pueda tomar en cuenta, que lo podamos desarrollar, que podamos sacarle ventaja a cada uno de estos, de, estas, de estos puntos y sobre todo que podamos aprender inglés. Yo les digo, miren, realmente hoy estudiar inglés es una gran oportunidad para muchas personas. ¿Cuántas personas no quisieran estudiar inglés? Muchos quieren estudiar inglés, pero a veces no tienen los recursos, 
no tienen el tiempo, no tienen la capacidad, eh, X, por X motivos, pero nosotros vamos a sacarle provecho a este inglés y le vamos a dar lo mejor posible. Como les digo, eh, ustedes entramos en el pre-intermedio 1, pero confiamos de que ustedes cuando salgan de este nivel van a salir avanzados. Esa es la meta que tengo con ustedes, ¿les parece? Sí. ¿Quieren salir avanzados yes. de este? Sí, va. ¿Quién es? Ahí está, ya, ¿eh? ya tenemos al primero, ¿eh? Tenemos al primero que dice yes, ok. Ya me está gustando esto, muy bien. Entonces, así, con esa motivación, vamos a dar inicio. Y más por las horas de la noche, mejor, ¿verdad? Mientras, mientras uno duerme, ustedes aprenden. Miren qué bonito es. Así que, pues, vamos a dar inicio. Well, so I actually got a presentation for you guys today. Don't forget if you have any questions or doubt. Here, I'm going to show my presentation here. But at the same time, I'm going to take a short time to share with you guys this presentation in the chat. I don't know if you're capable to check in the chat right now what we have. Vamos a ver, les quiero compartir algo por aquí. No sé si puedo. Quiero ver, quiero ver. Hmm. Quiero ver. Bueno, vamos a, vamos a dar inicio con eh, nuestro tema. Ustedes me dicen si están listos. Yes. Yes. Okay, let's start Thanks now. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So we're going to start today. Eh, y les voy a compartir esta, eh, esta presentación para que ustedes la tengan también. Me confirman eh, si ustedes pueden visualizar. En este momento me está cargando, entonces yo creo que sí, ya les estará llegando la presentación. Yes. Okay, perfect. That's great. So let's start today with the first activity. So we have the video conference number one. It's like job hunting. And there is a specific um, goals that we're going to reach for this class. So I just want to ask somebody that can help me to read this information. Jose Fernando, could you help me to read the general objectives about this class today? Um, talking about, about the prices and giving opinions and marking comparisons and with budging and sending intent items. Thank you so much. Right. Well, this we're gonna focus today about giving opinions, making comparisons when we are like getting some products. Most of the time, we don't know what to buy first, and we have an, an idea about what we would like to get. And uh, we're making comparisons when buying and selling items. That's one of the main goals we have here. And let's um, talk a little bit about this one. We're going to have a short introduction. So you're going to talk about what's your name, how old are you, what do you do, and what goals you have for this crash course. So I just want to ask you who would like to be the first one to socialize these uh, questions. Remember that you don't have to write, just like be you and say, teacher. I want to introduce myself in a briefly way. We have a couple of minutes to talk about this. Who wants to start? Do I choose one? Okay, yes, tell me. Hi, Miguel. Hi. Okay, would you like to introduce yourself? Okay. Hello, my name is Miguel. My name, my name is Miguel. I am 33 years old. I am I am from El Salvador. I live at Santa Ana City. Um I I I have happy because um uh, I, I'm gonna um, learn learn English in this in this course. Um, I work at my own own business. Um, my goals in this um, crash course are. Uh, learn very very English and um, I'm gonna have a 
a job job in in this in this country that amazing that's it all right amazing that's uh, that's awesome thank you so much for your participation thank you great job and i hope you get the goals okay who will be next okay uh miguel choose the next one choose the next student here choose one um i don't know but um camilo camilo okay camilo okay uh, good evening my name is camilo and i'm 35 years old i'm a musician uh, i play the guitar and my goal for this course is to better my english levels Thank you, Miguel. Nice, that's awesome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Musician, I love music too. That's awesome. Um, okay, choose somebody else, please. Uh, you got a chance to choose someone too. Uh, Veronica, Veronica Lisset. Veronica oh. Lisset. Okay, hi, Veronica. Hi, my name's Veronica. Um, um, uh, <laughs> um, um, I, I, I am, I am, I am, I am, um, am, um, um, Forty-four years 44 old. Forty-four years old. Um, um, I work in Zona Franca, um, San Bartolo. In, don't worry, don't worry. Take your time. Don't worry about it. Okay, Veronica, uh, you uh, could, yes, you, you could choose somebody else. I uh, choose one of your partners too. I live, live um, in Tonacatepeque. Um, se me acuerdo, <laughs> me quedé astero. Ay, no se me olvidó todo. Don't worry, it's the first class. Don't worry about it. Take your time. Okay, uh, Veronica, choose someone else. Elijanos alguien más. Jose Fernando. Okay, Jose Fernando. Your microphone. I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> Let me eloquent. Um, hello, my name is uh, Fernando Fernandez. Um, I am um, hold. I am, como se dice, is in English? 19. 19 years old. Um, what do you, que soy, que haces, o que estoy haciendo, pero que es verdad. Yes, what do you do about your jobs, if you work, if you study? Okay. Are you in class in Yeah. Um, 
sería I am in, in English class. Sí, verdad. Ok. Y la última. Y eso es mi objetivo, tengo creo, ¿verdad? Yes. Yeah, that's okay. right. My goal to be speaking better. Hablar mejor. Creo que eso es la verdad. Sí. Yeah, that's right. Yes, thanks a lot. Yeah, I appreciate it. So we can see here that we have uh, different students that have already joined us today in the class. And also I can appreciate that some of you have some problems with the internet connection, perhaps because of the rain. We totally understand that it's in the whole country, so it's really hard um, because in some parts of the country, it's like raining so hard. And we uh, totally understand that. And thanks a lot for the sacrifice that most of us and we have had for being here connected. I know that some, some classes are canceled because of the rains, and but we are actually a little bit out of this and we're gonna try to take advantage, okay? During the process, we're gonna, we're gonna be like getting to know each other, uh, learning and practicing in the class today. Let's go on to the next part of the class. And also because all of you can see the presentations, we have uh, some valuable information about countries and nationalities. So we can see here, um, talking about nationalities, all of us here, here, I think is we are in El Salvador, right? And we have a warm up activity that we will socialize today. So we, as we know, as we read in the first part of the class, we're talking about some products, uh, sales, things that we buy. And I want you to think about these following questions that we have here. Uh, we will have a short time to try to answer these questions we have, especially when we want to get something, when we want to buy some products, when we want to uh, get something. Look at these first questions. The first one says, what is your favorite place to shop for clothes? There are some places that most of the time we feel comfortable to buy. Um, a clothes store is very famous in my country. What products do you prefer uh, to shop online for? What products do you prefer to shop in a store for? How do you feel about sales, uh, sales people following you and helping you when you shop? What makes a pleasant shopping experience? And how do you feel about shopping at department stores or malls? There are some places that perhaps are really good because the prices are very comfortable, because you can get some discounts, because you feel good. So I want you to take a short time to answer the following questions. We have a couple of minutes to, um, to read this information. And we are going to give an answer about that. So for that reason, I want you to take notes in your notebook. And after that, we're gonna have some breakup rooms to uh, socialize these questions in the small groups. So for that reason, we're going to be uh, trying to give a short answer for each one. And if you have any questions or doubt, you got a freedom to ask questions, teacher William, I don't know how to write this one and I can help you to do it. Teacher, how do you pronounce this word? I can help you too. You know, so you can use the chat here. También está el chat por si tienen alguna, alguna pregunta, cómo se escribe algo por acá. Entonces ustedes me dicen y lo escribimos. Esta parte es para que ustedes vayan desarrollando un poquito más el speaking, para que puedan hablar. Entonces lo contestamos en este momento en su cuaderno, porque luego vamos a socializarlo en pequeños grupos. Entonces eso vamos a hacer. Ok, so that's what we had to do. The question is, is that clear? Yes? Yes. Yes, okay, let's go. Let's start now and good luck with you guys. Yes. Awesome, let's start. Remember, if you have any questions or doubt, don't hesitate to ask you, say, teacher, I need your help and I can help you with that. Let's go, we can do it. Teacher, oh, all questions? Yes, all of them, that's right.
Si tienen dudas, pues pueden preguntar eh, alguna palabra o algo que ustedes no comprenden y con mucho gusto les ayudo por acá.
Teacher, I have a question for you. Yes, tell me, how can I help you? Hello? Yes. Um, how do you say pleasant in Spanish? Placentero. Okay. Yes. O agradable también. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher? Yes. My question is, what is a uh, department store? A uh, department store and this, how do you feel about shopping at department store or the mall? And are actually similar meanings. For example, a, small, a mall could be, for example, if you go to, as we say in Spanish, como un centro comercial, eh, también se le llama malls or department stores. As we call centro comercial. Okay. Yes. Teacher. Yes, tell me. And the question number five, uh, the question is if I need if I need the help when I shop. Um no if in no if you need help. The question is how do you feel? If you feel comfortable when you go to a store and you want to get a product and the, there is somebody, uh people are clever, someone uh, working there and they tell you, you know what, do you need help? I, I'm with you. Uh, are you watching something? So these these people who help you with your shop? Do you like that or you don't like? That's the equation. And then in the number five, two. It's actually, it's the same because we have one, two, three, four. Uh, what makes a pleasant shopping experience? Yeah. This one? You and, help, you and helping you when you shop? It's the same equation. Like you said, how do you feel about salespeople following you and helping you? Uh, when, it's the uh, same equation. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, yeah. I understand. Thank you. All right. Okay. This is when we say in Spanish, uh, ¿Cómo te sientes acerca de, las, de los vendedores que te van siguiendo eh, cuando tú vas a hacer una compra? A veces tú vas a ver, um, vas a la tienda y tú, tú solo quieres ver, pero ahí están. Mire, ¿Cómo puedo darle? Esto le queda bien. Y usted como que, oh, I need my time. I need time for myself. <laughs> yes. O sea, necesito I tiempo. Think, I think to have two, two questions. But it's only one. Yeah, it's just only one question. Yeah, that's okay. right. For some people, it could be great, you know, when you go and you say, you know what, I like this one. Oh, hi, in a, in a sense. Oh, don't worry about it. I know the internet is not so good. It's not a stable, but we totally understand that. Don't worry about it. And the last question is, how do you feel about shopping at, at department stores or malls? It's okay, because there are some specifically, uh, uh, for example, shops, uh, stores. There are some stores. Uh, hay tiendas. Uh, por ejemplo, usted va a una tienda exclusiva, pero a veces hay, hay lugares donde usted compra ropa, pero no es justamente una tienda, sino que hay varias tiendas. Es dentro de un cierto un cier centro comercial. Entonces, ¿se siente bien comprar mejor directamente en una tienda o en un department store? Donde es, hay diferentes tipos de, de ropa, de venta, de cosas. Entonces, hay una variedad. No ir directamente al grano, a lo que quiero comprar. Hay varias otras opciones en a department store or we can call malls. There are some stores that you can buy different products, not specifically one, that you can find different, different kind of stores. There are some famous stores here in the country that you can get different products in different places. But there are some other places that are specifically for one product. So what, where do you like to buy? In a place where you can get different products or in a store when you can get one specific product. That's one of the things that we are discussing. 
I think it's because of the time we're going to start socializing this, uh, this part. So for that reason, we're going to do something. Uh, we're going to have like a short time to do something here. One second. Ok, vamos a hacer los breaker rooms y para eso vamos a tomar un pequeño tiempo, eh, unos seven minutes to socialize the questions we have together. Vamos a socializar las preguntas con los grupos y cuando nos conectemos todos vamos a, a contestar las preguntas en equipo. Eso es lo que vamos a hacer en este momento. Este es un tiempo para que usted pueda practicar el inglés, no tenga pena, si alguien necesita ayuda, usted puede consultarle a sus compañeros y I will be monitoring what you're doing, guys. So let's start now. And let's get ready with the break and roll. Vean su pantalla y vamos a practicar en este momento. Usted le da aceptar para que podamos eh, reunirnos en equipos y, y socializar las preguntas que tenemos. This is the time for us to practice. Let's start right now. You have a specifically um, five minutes, six minutes to work in these questions in a briefly way. Um, Jenny, Sonia, uh, Miguel Linares, can you see the invitation to join us? Veo todavía que no, no han aceptado. ¿Me escucha Miguel? Hola, sí lo escucho. Eh, no vio la invitación para agregarse a algún equipo. Sí, me aparecía algo como agregar, pero cuando le di agregar me sacó, me volví a, a, a entrar. Vaya, le voy a ingresar en otro grupo para que esté ahí atento. Bueno. Ok, Sonia Mendoza y Miguel Linares, are you there? Sonia y Miguel, are you there, guys? Sigo aquí. Mm. Ok, vamos a ver, lo voy a mandar a otro grupo para que pueda accesar. Who else is there? Hello, I'm there. Uh, do you Hello. Have any... Hello, do you have any questions or doubt? Yes. Eh, vamos a responder todas las preguntas o solo una? No, todas. Van a socializarlas entre todos. Ok, entonces nosotros nos empezamos a repartir eh, una cada uno y a uno a dos nos van a tocar dos, no, ¿verdad? Excellent. That's great. Bien? Sure. Okay, so la... that's it. Thank you. Yo, it's a pleasure. Don't worry about it. Va, y entonces, ¿quién tomaría la primera? Um, hi, Kathy. Katia, are you there? 
Perdón, es, es que me salí por accidente al grupo. Ingresé bien tarde a la clase porque había estado teniendo problemas y con el internet y estaba medio prestando atención en el grupo y me salí por accidente. Entonces, ah, bueno, entonces la voy a agregar eh, a este grupo. Quiero ver. Y la acepta. Yes. Ok. Let's go. Very fast. It's very fast and it's very comfortable by in the bomba. That's it. La tercera. The third question said, what products do you prefer to shop in stores for? I don't know that. Jose Daniel, do you like to answer this question? Me he perdido, estoy trabajando, solo estoy escuchando, pero más o menos estoy pendiente. Pero ahí me están haciendo algunas consultas. Eh, ¿Cuál pregunta me, me correspondería? The number three. La ¿Cuál pregunta in a store for? ¿Qué productos prefiere comprar en la tienda? La compañera mencionó que eh, era en la máquina bomba. Eh, yo respondí qué productos prefería comprar en línea y entonces usted tiene que responder qué productos prefiere comprar eh, directamente en la tienda. What happened in a listening recording in class? <laughs> um, who do you find in shopping in the department store? I feel better in might. It is um, uh, common. You continue. You continue. Jocelyn. Hi. Eh, hasta ahorita acabo de arreglar lo del audio porque no escuchaba nada, no, no sé en qué estamos ahorita. Ok, eh, estamos practicando las, las preguntas, las workbook activity y pues creo que Kevin ya, ya dio su... Se quedó sí, sin audio sin cámara. Del warm up que anteriormente nos presentaban. Introduce myself. No, introduce myself is the first activity in the course development in this class. Uh, the first question is what is your favorite place to shop clothes? ¿Cuál es tu lugar favorito para comprar ropa? Um, for example, my favorite place to shop eh, clothes is Prisma Moda. Why? 
Why? Because um, I like the the jeans. Um, ah, blusa se me olvidó cómo se dice. You can use blues. that shirt. Blues. Okay, because I like uh, the jeans and blouse. Blouse. And the other is questioning what product do you prefer to shop in and supply? What product do you prefer to buy in a shopping store? I prefer to shop to shop a store in the cell phone. Why? Why cell phone? ¿Por qué? Yes. Um, um, no sé cómo se dice porque es más seguro. Because it's my safe. No. It's my security. Algo así creo que es. Yeah, it's, it's more secure. secure. More secure. Security. Security. Mm -hmm. It's very more security. Okay, in my case, I prefer to buy a food because I can select what I can select my food and I feel more secure because I can organize my voucher and I can save more money because. I don't like to buy a clothes in a shopping center because, and I think, and I can buy a more clothes and a more beautiful in a street. Yeah, sounds interesting. Yeah, I Thank totally you. agree. So we couldn't see you. Perhaps the camera, Kevin, you could have turned on the camera. I'm so, well, I don't. Okay. I don't open the camera because and now when I start the class, I can go to my house because and I finish my work today very late and I study at university and my life is very complicated and every day. <laughs> okay, don't worry about it. You know, that is a very uh, uh, sacrifice, but it's very important. So I'm glad to have you here, but that's okay because we could see you. That's, that's nice. That's, that was cool. Okay. Okay. Great efforts. We're going to go back to the main sections because of the time. So we're going to like go back.
Okay, thank you so much, everybody, for being here. All the best, we're ready. Thank you for turning on your cameras because we can see each other. Perhaps the time is not enough, but because it's the first class today, but tomorrow we will have more time to socialize a little bit more. And uh, we'll have also a speaking activity. So it's important that all of us, we feel more familiar to socialize in small groups and talk and participate actively. I could see some of you doing a great job. So we're gonna have a short backup related to this topic about possessive adjectives. I would like to ask you before, what do you remember about the possessive adjectives? Who wants to help me? What do you remember about a possessive adjective? What is the main function of it? I. Yes, thank you. Yes, my. Yeah. Or it. Okay, and what, what is the function? What do you remember about this? This topic, we have studied this one in basic English level. So what sure. do you remember? Yes. My, uh, is, her, your. Yes, that, that, that's okay. And, but, I, yes. I'm sorry. Um, I remember, remember, uh, adjective. Agit, Positive adjective is my, your, his, her, all, uh, it, their. Exactly. So we're talking about possessions. And, but in Spanish, we will say that, ¿cuál sería la función? ¿Para qué la usamos? Para referirnos a que esto le pertenece a la persona. Exactly. Exactamente. In English, ¿cómo sería? ¿Cómo sería en inglés? ¿Cómo lo podríamos decir? To use, uh, to show something belongs to. So we're going to use uh, belongs. Yeah, look at the chat. Belongs to somebody. So I have a possession here. So we have a possession. So you can okay. appreciate some examples of our possessions. And we have some of them. Look at the examples. We have uh, personal pronouns and possessive adjectives. Mine your, his, her, its, and for plural, we have our, your, and their, como decir, mi, tu, su, de él, his, her, su, de ella, its, su, de ello, <coughs> our, nuestro, your, de ustedes, their, de ellos, para referirnos a estos tipos de posesiones. Tenemos un ejemplo, I live here, this is my home, I live here, this is mine, es mi, Refiriéndose, este adjetivo nos demuestra una possession. Tenemos algunos ejemplos. For example, a word that indicates that possession and of the nouns to a person, few people, the possessive adjectives are mine, or your, his, their, her, and its. My computer, usamos el mine como un possession. It's not working. Yeah, it's not working, exactly. As fast as it worked in the beginning. Vamos con la siguiente. Our father, para decir nuestro padre. Our father told us not to quarrel with anyone. Your, para referirnos a tú. Your circle, your cycle, your cycle has been stolen yesterday. Cycle. Yeah. Para referirnos como que tu bicicleta ha sido robada ayer. Imagine, so bad story. Your child is not doing well <laughs> in the school. Tu niño... No ha estado bien en la escuela. We are concerned about his performance. Estamos preocupados acerca de su, his, de él, su, su presentación, su trabajo. The students of the class seven submitted their assignment. No, no. Their. Los estudiantes de la clase del séptimo firmaron, en este caso, their assignment. Assignment es como ya sea una tarea y ellos la, la, la completaron. I could not understand her intentions. Eh, no pude entender sus intenciones. Entonces, su de ella, her, her thoughts are too complex. Sus pensamientos son muy complejos. My mind stops working when I think about that. Mi mente, my mind. My mind. I, mi mente se detiene cuando, cuando pienso acerca de eso, dice. Uh, check the microphone. 
Ma, stop messing with me, my hair. Stop messing my with hair. my hair. Deja de como, Messi es como meterte con mi, con mi cabello. O también, también Messi como desordenarlo o, o despeinarlo, como dicen en inglés. Luego tenemos, I, I cannot believe that I you broke, believe. you broke my glasses. Y vemos el, el possessive mind. Eh, she made her life miserable by pessimism. By pessimism. Pessimism. Ella hace que la vida sea miserable y negativa. En este caso usamos her, su, su vida. Oh. She made her life. Ella, ella hizo que su, de, de ella. Ella hizo que su vida. Eh, Pero, miserable y pesimista. Pesimista. Ajá, y la última tenemos, their favorite teacher did not come yesterday. Su, de ellos, su maestro favorito, no vino ayer, dice acá. There. Entonces vemos como la estructura de los possessives como que nos demuestra que podemos hacerlo. Tenemos dos minutitos para resolver entre todos estas, esta estructura que tenemos acá. Vamos con la primera. Do they like? Y tenemos she. ¿Cuál sería el posesivo de she? Her. her. Eso, bien. Her. Vamos, her. vamos, ahí tenemos her. Vamos con la número dos. Number two. Um, have you got you? ¿Cuál sería el posesivo her. de you? Your, your, your passport. Yes. Passport. Your passport. Look at the chat. En el chat vamos actualizándolo. Number three. Um, have you met teacher, ¿cómo es el posesivo de they? They are. A su maestro. They are teacher. That's right. They are teacher. They are teacher. Number they. four, he forgot, él olvidó, o en este caso, eh, he. ¿Cuál sería el posesivo de he? He's. 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 That's okay. perfect. That's right. Number five, um, I don't like y decimos we, el posesivo de we, y decimos teacher. Or, 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 or yes, or, or teacher. Or, or, no, no, or, nuestro maestro. Muy bien. Number six, I like, y dice you, y tenemos sweater. Your, your, your sweater. Okay, your sweater. That's perfect, your sweater. And number seven here, I got, I've got a model. He's. He. He's. 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 He's model. That's yes. right. Let's go with the next one. Is yes. this the, you? Sure. This your, your, car. Car. your car. Your is car. Is this your car? Your car. Is this your car? Yeah. Yes, this is my car. Nice. And uh, next one. She gave the report gave to, to her boss. Her boss. Her boss. Yes, her, her boss. Her boss. Yes. Also checking the accent. There is something wrong with a bicycle eye. ¿Cuál sería el de eye? My, 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 my bicycle. My bicycle, that's correct. And the, these are parents. My parents. My, my, my parents. My parents. My parents. My parents. My parents. Para decir my parents. mis padres. Parents. Mis padres, my parents. My parents. La antepenúltima. They change hotel. They are. They are. Para decir hotel, they're. usted va a decir hotel. 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 And the last one. They're having a party. Having a party. Garden. In their birthday. There there. That's correct, guys. Great job. Hey. So uh, having hey. a short backup about this one is actually very important. So that's amazing, guys, because we have a short backup. Tomorrow we'll have more time to socialize, to try to connect on time. We hope it won't affect the rain. And I hope to see you tomorrow. And we will continue practicing. I will share with you the presentation earlier. Les voy a compartir la presentación de la clase de mañana para que la repasen y así podamos avanzar un poquito en los contenidos. Y en el grupo ustedes pueden escribir y consultar cualquier cosa. Teacher, tengo una duda de algo. Con mucho gusto les ayudo. 
Okay. Okay. Thank you. It, okay. It's, a, okay. it's a pleasure, guys. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. See you tomorrow. So, see Thank you tomorrow for scouting. Everything is going to be great. Yeah. 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 Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Yeah, I could see all your names. Aquí puede ver los nombres de todos, así que don't worry about it. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> okay. I can see all your names. Bye. Bye. Have a nice night. Bye. Have a beautiful night to all of you. Good night, everybody. Good night, you too. Thanks a lot.